everyone, welcome to this week's video blog. Now, our team has been at Explorers Inn for just over two months now, and the seasons are about to change here in Madre de Dios. So we thought this would be a perfect time to give you an update on the progress of both our mammal and bird teams. The beginning of November means we're just at the start of the rainy season. This change is reflected in both the height and the color of the Tampapata River. You can see the orange coloration, which is caused by rains farther up the Tampapata River, occurring in the Andes in the Puna region. Of course, no matter what the season is, our mammal team is always walking, walking and walking more as part of their monkey follows and mammal transects. And our mammal team was rewarded for all this hard work with some great views of primates, including this howler monkey with a baby and a dusky titi with a baby as well. Big thanks to Macy for sharing these great photos with us. Not surprisingly, many species are unable to be photographed during these transects. And one of the recent highlights was seeing a Bolivian squirrel. That may not sound that exciting, but Bolivian squirrels are one of the less common species of squirrels to be seen in this area. So far, Judith and her team have covered more than 35 kilometers of transects which is giving us a great foundation of knowledge to build our density estimates upon. While Judith and the team have been busy walking the trails in the morning and evenings, our camera traps have been running non-stop. So far, we've collected over 15,000 hours of data, which has resulted in over 800 animal observations of 23 different species. Some of the trap camera highlights this week included a giant anteater, ocelot, coatis, and a greater long-nosed armadillo. Our mammal team has collected a significant amount of data from the disturbed side of Explorers Inn, and soon we'll be transitioning to the protected zone within the National Reserve. Moving over to the bird team, recently they've had some close encounters with vultures, including this juvenile greater yellow-headed vulture, and also this beautiful king vulture. Our newest intern, Lori, was able to get some fantastic photos of both the king vulture and also this adorable bluish-fronted jacamar. Of course, being on the bird team doesn't simply mean looking at beautiful birds. It also does involve some less exciting work. <laughs> Lori has only been with us about a week, but Jiri has already put him to work with some maintenance and repairs on our mist nets. It's no surprise these nets would need some maintenance. They've been used very heavily by the bird team here at Explorers Inn. So far we've caught over 500 birds during our time here. Thankfully after all that hard work, Jiria did take him into the field to do some banding. Birds such as this rufous-breasted hermit, white-flanked ant wren, musician wren, and ringed ant pipit have been common captures on the more disturbed side of Explorers Inn. Although we've only been working on this side of the river for approximately two months, it does appear the bird diversity is significantly lower than the protected side of the river. Although the majority of mammal and bird research occurs during the day, soon two nocturnal teams, the bat and herp team, will be kicking into full gear, which should yield some very interesting results. Well, that's it for this week's video blog. Now, don't forget to follow us on both Facebook and Instagram. And if you'd like more information about the work we do here at Fauna Forever, including how you can come and volunteer and intern with us, don't forget to check us out at www.faunaforever.org. We'll see you next week.